Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to replace a thermostat in your house. Uh, this is a smart thermostat and it's actually made by uh, Emerson. It's Sensei Touch 2. Um, I'm going to replace my Sensei thermostat. It's the older version. So, um, well, let's just go get into the house right now and I'll show you how to install it. I'm Jay. This is Jay's How To Channel. Okay, so this is my old thermostat and I'm going to swap this one out um, for my basement thermostat. This one's only about three years old, so it's got plenty of life left in it. Okay, so you're going to need an Android or iOS device with Bluetooth enabled. You're going to need your Sensei app installed and your email. Open the Sensei app on your device and then create an account. Once your account is enabled, press the plus sign to add a thermostat. I'm installing the Touch 2 thermostat. Then select New Installation and then Not Mounted. This app will walk you through the entire process. Now we need to turn the power off to our air handler. You can do this with the um, circuit breaker or there's a switch next to your furnace. Be sure to shut off the power before handling the wires at your thermostat. Next, remove the faceplate from your thermostat and then take a picture to make sure you get the wiring configuration correct. If you see a jumper wire, remove it. Your new thermostat has the jumper built in. Don't remove any existing wires at this step. At the base of the thermostat, you'll notice there's a letter corresponding with each wire. In the Sensei app, you can pick the terminals with the wires attached. When you're finished, you should see in the app, selected with a valid configuration. Next, you'll be asked to identify your furnace type. Mine's electric. Okay, and this comes with a kit that has um, these little wire labels, so you can label these wires correctly. Once all the wires are labeled, you can disconnect all of the wires and then remove the base plate. If you guys want to purchase one of these Sensei 2 thermostats from my Amazon affiliate link, I've got that listed in the description below this video. Make sure you have the base plate pointing up with the level at the top. Okay, and now I actually broke one of these wires off, so I have to use a wire stripper. Connect the labeled wires to match the C to C or Y to Y or R to R, and uh, then that will take care of all of your problems. And this gets super easy because um, they actually they're easy clips right here. Okay, so now I'm leveling this and you can see the up arrow and we can tighten this down here. Okay, and now we can snap the thermostat cover onto the base and then peel off the faceplate cover. Let's head back to the circuit breaker box, turn on the power, or if you've got a switch next to your furnace, you can turn that on. Now that your thermostat's installed, we need to connect it to your Wi-Fi system. Be sure Bluetooth is turned on. Now press menu and then Wi-Fi and now connect. In the Sensei app, you can scan this QR code and it'll actually set up everything through Bluetooth. It might require Bluetooth permission for your phone. Next, select your Wi-Fi network and then enter the password. You'll have to do this twice. This could take a little while to start processing your setup. Now you have to name your thermostat and this will register your thermostat with your account. 
Yeah, this is such good technology. You can actually run your thermostat from anywhere in the world. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you so much.